Another important thing that we do at Open Drives is our onboarding process. So whenever we hire somebody new, um, doesn't matter really what their background is, uh, we have to, I mean, you know, we've hired that person for a reason. Obviously, they're extremely valuable and have tons of experience, but not everybody knows, uh, has all of the stuff that's going on in my head about how movies are made. So one of the things that we like to do is we like to sit down and we have these whiteboard walls at the office, which I love to draw on, and I take all of our new hires through from script to screen. So you've seen a movie, that's a great starting point. Maybe you've worked on a movie, maybe you've seen the behind the scenes of a movie. I, I break all of that down and I explain what a slate is as an analog metadata device and why we use a slate. And going back from that, start with the script. A script gets written, you have text files, right? It's just a text, it's a, it's a book. It's a, it's a story that has been written by somebody and then that goes through a development process, it gets refined, they go to the studio, they get money, they get greenlit, you move into pre-production. Okay, so now in pre-production you're starting to generate more assets, you're starting to generate, you're going on location scouts, you're, you, have, you have headshots stored, you have video of the locations, uh, you're trying to decide where you're going to make the movie, what resources that you need, where you're going to go. And then you can also, if you're shooting complicated stunt sequences, you might be using some sort of pre-visualization. It might be storyboards, it might be animated 2D storyboards, which would be animatics, it might be fully you know, rendered 3D, maybe not textured CGI that uh, demonstrates you know, the car is gonna flip exactly this way and land there in the scene. So now all of a sudden you're starting to get the first little bits of video that are coming in on the movie. Um, then, once you have a good idea of how you're going to make the movie and all the things that you need to do on the different days, or at least you have enough of a running start, uh, you go into principal photography, physical uh, uh, production, which is, it's a ride. Um, so, you know, you, you drive up to set, you roll out, you build the cameras day one, and the sound guy's there, and sound speeds, camera speeds, and then all of a sudden you're generating gigabytes, terabytes of data an hour, and the sound is being recorded separately from the video. Uh, you've got some color correction going on as metadata, you've got script notes, you've got all sorts of data uh, gets generated at that point, and you've spent a lot of money to get all the people together to generate that data, and you wanna capture all of it. I mean, you don't wanna leave anything behind. And then you take all of that data and you uh, download it, you make sure it's safely downloaded with checksums, and then you can go into either shuttling it to a post facility or some people do on-set dailies processing, something that I did. Um, so you're syncing the sound, you're applying a basic grade, and then from there you are making sure you prune the metadata and hopefully uh, noting the circle takes and then baking that into editorial dailies. From there you're done converting to web dailies. And then you put all of that on shuttle drives and you scatter it to the winds. Uh, the web dailies go to the production office, they get uploaded, or maybe you have a post house doing that for you. Uh, the edit dailies, whether they were created on set or at a post house, they go to the editors so they can start ingesting. The AEs will bring that in to the edit program and then they will start building out bins and sequences for the story editor, the lead editor, to do the final cut of you know, the scene or a rough cut and then, a, and then you know, refined assemblies. And then um, you, know, you do that enough times, enough days, that's going on concurrently with production, that eventually, uh, by the end of a movie or shortly thereafter, you can kind of get a rough idea of, uh, you know, do you have a movie or not? Hopefully you've caught it, you don't have to do reshoots. If you do have to do reshoots, hopefully you had that feedback loop going. Uh, you know, it's a very complicated machine, and then, and then it doesn't get any less complicated from there, because once you've reached picture lock, which is getting softer and softer these days, uh, you're starting to send shots out for visual effects and you're wrangling vendors and you're doing visual effects pulls, you're deciding which shots need VFX, which frames need VFX. We need to pull those from the original assets because you don't want to use the offline assets that you created. Uh, then you have to wait for those to come back in and then give them notes and do a couple of iteration processes. And then, okay, so you have a final picture, so now you can go to sound editing and color. And then you, that's when you want to make sure that you had all that raw information so you can go back to your highest quality uh, image and then do the processing from there. So, you know, on and on and on. And then eventually you, you reach a, a, a final picture and a final audio piece and you say, well, okay, cool, I have a movie. 
No, you don't, because then you have to show it in 360 countries and 720 languages, and then you have to make web versions and you have to make TV versions, which is a different color space than the theatrical versions, which is a different color space, and then the HDR version, and then the... So there's a lot of data that gets created for any one individual project, and um, being able to understand what a customer is doing and what part of that process is their business uh, and how we can accelerate that individual piece or maybe bring some of those pieces together so they don't have to have as large of a team and they can all work together in-house. Uh, these are the things that we look at um, in terms of performance, you know. It's not, uh, it's not any one individual piece and it's important to know how all of those work together to make sure that you're getting the most for your money.